Welcome back in Tech TV Studio and in this video you are going to learn quickly about grid panel and uniform grid panel. So, so basically for creating any type of inventory or you know any UI UX level stuff or design you can use grid panel or an uniform grid panel. So they are both similar for both uh, also there can be used for both same case but there's slightly some difference the the grid panel and the uniform panel are some slightly difference what I already said okay so you find that on the list or even you can search here that on the grid something like GRI so you'll be find the oh let me just disable this okay <laughs> okay so something like that on the panel section you find these both two thing okay so the mainly let me go uh, show you the course because the code is very important okay so you can simply drag and drop and you can give it as a skill i'm giving it eight, eight, 850 by 800 and 850 by 800 so this is basically the grid panel and the right side is ununiform grid panel okay so what we need to do as we can use even even construct so because i'm going to show you in real time so the event preconstruct is going to help us so let me first of all get a sequence so it is going to be help us then we need a for loop so you can search for loop or even you can write something like that loop and you can go to down and here you find the for loop just simply connect that you can put the index index value to one and set the counter as a 10 so it's going to give us the 10 in our execution so from there we need to create a widget because to add something in a any type of scroll view list view or even a grid panel you need to create that so i'm going to use the sub ui and from that now we can add so now we make sure that you select this and here there's a button is uh, disabled you need to add, click on as the enable is is a variable so you can get them so let me first of all show you the grid panel then you need to search that add then here you find that add to add child to the grid now simply need to drag and drop and connect the return with the content now the main thing in the row and the columns so from your loop of index you can get and you can first first you need to search that uh, the percentage that is integer percentage and let's give it that value 4 and you need to simply connect with the row and then you need a divide so divide then the same value with the 4 and you can connect with the column now compile and save and if you go to the design section you'll be probably found something like that so this is how the grid panel work so you can customize with these values like if you redact the percentage rate of the row and uh, it's going to be changed in the uh, data section at here so as you can see it's not totally very organized okay so there's uh, no any extra make sure it depends on how much execution it's you giving and the row and the number so for example if i'm trying to spawn uh, 20 items for example and my inventory you can see probably how it's going to be look so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so i'm not sure why it's counting in one more as i'm seeing or even what 1 2 3 4 5 okay so yeah it's more the counting more than 16 but i'm counting it uh the 20 so you can see that some of are not visible because of the column and the row limit so that's how that you need to basically if you want to get a exactly output you need to basically combine them like you need to find a perfect value for your inventory if it's uh, online or offline to get the perfect shape like a, the uh, uh, you know have the three borders uh, fill up full so compile and save let me show you now the uniform grid the uniform grid are pretty same you can basically copy paste the whole code something like that and connect with the for loop but at here make sure whenever you are using a uh, create widgets do not use the same sub widget in every classes otherwise it's going to be conflict or your engine going to be crash so i just you need to simply if you think that the both are same you can simply create a duplicate version okay because both are spawning in their own way you know the code need to utilize also so you can keep the percentage and the rate but for the child and the grid you can need to unconnect it and let's get the ununiform and let's add to child to ununiform then connect and connect something like that and like that 
now compile and save now if you go to the designer section you will be see probably something like that now you can basically see the difference between these two stuff like how they are behaving or what okay even if you want you can take some screenshot as well so let me take a screenshot pretty much it will be look great so let me just take a simple screenshot something like that i just need this part that's why okay so now you can see that how it's basically uh looking like so let me just save it so if you see that the right side one you can see the gaps basically how much gap it's have and if you go to the left side section you can see that it's have less gap than this one so what i feel like this the uniformed one is more than uh it's more uh the ununiformed one is more you know flexible like if i just uh, it going to be split the uh boxes or items be depends on our size or the widget size so you can see that if i redact that to 600 by 600 it's going to become more or less okay but if i adding more it's going more further away so it's all depends row columns and as i said on how much height you basically give it so yeah that is the thing so i guess you understand how you need to use that for more advanced let me know if you need more advanced tutorial on that so we are probably going to be two more at this section so thank you so much see you in the next tutorial video